Hi, I'm Karen Carbone, and welcome to Check It Out, where we'll explore the fascinating books and variety of programs available at your Fairfax County Public Library. Today, we're visiting the newly renovated Tyson's Pimmet Library. In this edition, it's all about teens. We'll meet local teens volunteering their time and talents, explore programs and events they'll love, and earn prizes with the summer reading adventure. We have an interesting show lined up for you today. So sit back and relax while we introduce you to your Fairfax County Public Library on Check It Out. From story time for toddlers to tips for retirement, we have programs and events for readers of every age. We have lots to offer teenagers, including new and exciting programs like Girls Who Code, Teen Yoga, and even gaming centers. Here are some of the fantastic offerings for teens at your Fairfax County Public Library. Our teen programming is very community driven. Teens get to decide what they want to see in their library. Um, we have lots of ongoing book clubs for teens. We have tutoring and research help. We have wellness programs like teen yoga. Reach your hands up. In the like gym, there were only uh, adults, so I was kind of like scared. And uh, here, I could focus more and think less about like what I was doing, if I was doing it right or not. I think yeah, like a smaller class is more enjoyable than a bigger one. I feel like stretch like I will stretch out. And when I finish, I feel relaxed and calm. Hey, one of the coolest things that we have for teens, I think, is that they have their own space in some of the newly renovated library branches where they have an area where they can hang out and sort of do things on their own terms without having to be in a formal program. So it's just sort of decompressing, reading, doing homework, whatever. But we also have gaming centers where they can play games on Xbox Ones and PS4s. Um, we provide all of the equipment for them to do that. We really have actually, I think, five sort of system-wide, county-wide big events in terms of programming for teens each year. We have Nova Teen Book Festival, which brings a bunch of popular authors to the area, and it connects teens to authors, lets them meet the people that they're reading, they meet other readers. I'm really excited to be here to find a new series to get sucked into, something maybe thriller or fantasy. I just really wanted to come and experience a lot of different kinds of books and Q&As with authors and that sort of stuff. We also have Library Comic Con, which is just a Fairfax County event. It started last year, it was our first annual, but that connects uh, comic book readers, graphic novel readers, with, again, creators in that field. Um, they get to come and see vendors and do panels and have discussions with other people who love comic books. Teen Tech Week and Teen Read Week are both national events that are sponsored by the American Library Association and YALSA, the Young Adult Library Association. Book cover contest is something that we do every summer for, as a part of the summer reading program. They submit their own original artwork and then the winners and the runners up artwork is featured on library bookmarks that we distribute to the branches. Girls Who Code is a program that is actually run by a partner organization. So it started at a single branch and then was really successful and so it's sort of spread out into the county and it's one of our most popular programs for teens. You add a box to one of these. So click on that and then do what you did add. Uh, and then bring in Podcasting is actually a great choice to teach teens because um, it's an old format, an old technology that we're using in a new way. Try one of these and see if you can change it. So using podcasting is great because you can teach kids not only how to use a technology that is now sort of up and coming, but it teaches them other skills like how to create an interesting story, how to market their stories online. The places we live have a way of looking like us over time. You can find out more about teen events by stopping into your local library branch and asking them what they offer. You can also go to fairfaxcounty.gov backslash library and check out our events page, or you can get the events calendar in your library branches as well. Coming up next on Check It Out, 
Do you have a great idea for a program or want to help others? You can help make your library better by volunteering with us. We'll learn more right after this message from your Fairfax County Public Library. Welcome to your Tyson's Pimmet Regional Library. We have a whole new look with striking architecture, upgraded technology, and a collection of over 100,000 materials waiting for you to explore. Our large children's section offers an array of colorful books, puzzles, games, and technology for little hands. Young readers can have a seat in a special chair that fits just right. Looking for a specific book? You can search the catalog in convenient tablets. Our meeting rooms host daily classes and fun activities for all ages. Surf the web at one of 18 computer stations. Stop by our special area for teens, featuring young adult books, graphic novels, and gaming stations. Tyson's Pimmet Regional Library is located on Leesburg Pike in Falls Church. For more information, give us a call or visit fairfaxcounty.gov slash library. Local teens are helping out in a major way by volunteering with the Fairfax County Public Library. From organizing events with the Teen Advisory Board to helping customers navigate the library's resources, these bright individuals are on the move. Let's meet some of the teens behind the shelves and learn how you can join in on the fun too. Volunteer members should be willing to dedicate their time, have a real interest in the activity that we promote. I think being a team member as well, um, being able to work in a team and plan different events with different types of people. Ready to open up to new things, learn about different genres, and I think you should be just willing to do anything flexible. Some of the volunteer opportunities for teens include the summer reading program. That's our largest program of the year. Teens are out of school and the library is a busy place, so we need a lot of help. There are branches that offer uh, a weekly two-hour shift for teens to help with tasks such as sorting and shelving books, preparing craft materials for story times, during the academic year here at the Burke Center Library, I offer the Teen Advisory Board Group Volunteer Project. It's a group where teens come together and we just make the library more interesting, more fun, more engaging for teens to come in and empower themselves and learn new things. We sponsor different events, activities, programs. We've even put on Anti-Bullying Fair, which won the 2016 Student Award. Basically, we put on all these events for the purpose of bringing teens to the library for the enjoyment of reading and learning, and it's really a very wonderful organization we're a part of. We meet twice a month on Saturday mornings for two hours, and uh, we work in small groups on tasks such as uh, project planning, contacting local organizations, asking for their help in uh, implementing a program. Right now we're planning an international fair and we're reaching out to some private cultural schools that provide instruction and dance and art and music. The most rewarding part has been seeing what the teens get out of the experience. I didn't really get to interact with other teens outside of my school before TAB, so now I've gotten the opportunity to talk with um, teenagers from all different sorts of schools. One thing, like a good skill that I learned was to work together with people as I am an introvert, so I kind of like to work alone a lot. But I learned that when you work together with teens, especially teens your age and like different cultures, we can all work together. Like with all our ideas, like my idea and her idea and his idea could come up to be like an like something magnificent and then that could help the library and make more people come to the library. I would say just come to our events. I've met so many people who have come to just one event and kind of been like a little shy and introverted. You can tell when you meet someone like that but then they just have the best time and then you see them over and over again coming back even to something totally different. I've met girls who've come to sewing basics events and then later joined the anime club or the creative writers club just because they realize that the events we put on are fun and they're just a great way to spend your time and be at the library. To learn more about volunteer opportunities at the library, 
teens can stop in at their local branch and talk to one of the staff members there, the youth services manager, or they could go to the library's website and there is a link for volunteer opportunities and the category is youth volunteer. During the school year, you probably spend most of your time studying or reading for class. With its beach trips and lazy days at home, summer break is a great chance to read whatever you choose. When you join our summer reading adventure, you'll earn coupons for free and discounted summer fun. This year's theme is Reading Takes You Everywhere, inspiring readers to explore the many worlds found in the pages of the books at their Fairfax County Public Library. Hi, I'm May. This is my sister, Abby, and that's Kavito. We'd like to invite you to join us for the Fairfax County Public Library's summer reading adventure. This summer, we're off to explore the faraway land of Sintarin, a magical world full of adventure and monsters. So let's check out some books and get ready for our magical journey because reading takes you everywhere. The program is simple. Teens in grades 6 through 12 read five books and get a free coupon book with lots of great prizes. Here's how it works. Step one, sign up. Sign up online or go to any of the library's 23 branches. Step two, read. Read anywhere and everywhere. No matter where your summer adventures take you, you can bring a book with you. Whether you're into fantasies, mysteries, comedies, or sci-fi, the Fairfax County Public Library has tons of great books. Step three, get your prizes. Visit any library. If you completed a paper reading log, bring it with you. You'll get a coupon book with over 30 coupons for free and discounted stuff. If you crave ice cream or love to beat your brother at mini golf, you'll have a coupon for it. Or maybe you like spending a day at the water park or watching a soccer game. Well, there are coupons for those too. Reading takes you everywhere with a Fairfax County Public Library's summer reading adventure. Visit your local branch or go online and get started today. Well, that's it for this edition of Check It Out. If you're interested in learning more about the variety of resources and programs available for teens, make sure to visit your nearest Fairfax County Public Library. See you next time.